Yeah, the last one. Do you want to do the bronze match first? Yes. That's how we always go about it. Yeah, it'll be Lowry and Silent Shadow for Bronze Match. After that, it'll be Clone and Orphelius. So I'm thinking probably it's going to be Lowry third, Clone first, Orphelius second. I mean, it's a little bit fatalistic, but I don't know. I mean, that was... That was not some nice cheese from Orphelius, and there was a solid game between them and Lowry. At the same time, though... Clone is just super tough. I don't know. Any thoughts? Yeah, I have to agree with you. Hmm. Um, uh, Orphelius could do a could try uh, like a couple of cheeses, depending on the map. Uh, I think he still has a shot to take a game of clone. Yeah, I can see taking a game off. I just, taking the series is gonna be tricky. It's best of five finish. In the finals, yeah. So it'd be yes. also in a bronze match. No, 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 no. Bronze match is best of three. Okay. That's it's two wins. Lori, I have to give, have to give this one to Lori. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Silent might be. Able to... They've been doing remarkably well in a lot of situations, but I just don't know. I just I don't see it because, I mean, against Clone, they kind of folded. I mean, the first game they were good, but that, that was still mistakes here and there. And Lowry, while not quite going to be punishing the mistakes in the same way and going to be leaving themselves a bit more open than Clone tends to, it's still going to be tough. Especially, I mean, the first map is Avalanche, so that's going to help Silent Shadow. The smaller map, and we've seen they do pretty well in them. And it's also a reclaim heavy map, if that matters at all. Huh? Avalanche, Avalanche. has a lot of reclaim. Yeah. yeah, for energy. Just a couple of trees. Well, it was a couple of forests, more like. <laughs> and then yeah. trees make up a forest. <laughs> yes, and there's quite a few of them. But then after that, that's gonna be loser's pick. I'm not gonna fall asleep that quickly. I'm actually kind of surprised how awake I'm feeling right now. I have acquired enthusiasm, or in the vernacular of the day, I have gotten hype. <laughs> Let the hype train <sighs> depart, huh? Well, no, because then I wouldn't have hype anymore. It would just leave. All the hype would go away. I don't want that. That's silly. Uh, Why would I make the hype go away? But yes, I have acquired enthusiasm. I do not wish to donate it. But I wish to share it. Because that's what I do. I share the enthusiasm I have acquired. No. Anyway. It's too bad we at least about half of the players didn't show up. Well, yeah, but thankfully we've got subs from most I of really them. dislike... Uh, it would have been nice to see those new guys uh It would play. have! I know! I was... I mean, they probably would have been bodied, but at least it would have been a good experience for them for knowing what tournaments are like, and then hopefully yeah, they, they'll get there encouraged There were so many by... of them, they were fighting each other in the first round. Yeah, Mr. Was and Old Ghost Stalker. I was like, if, if they... Ha Actually, Old Ghost Stalker's not that new. But still, that would have been really neat just to have them get the experience, and then hopefully they'd be encouraged to continue practicing and getting better so they'd have better shots at later tournaments. Because that's... I like to see the new players in the tournaments. I'm a bit curious if Double a Limb would be less intimidating and better worth it. And just Even though it'd be an extra match to cast, it might be worth it. And then it's going to be the Swiss tournament. I'm curious if that Swiss tournament continues, how that's going to work for attendance. Like how it's going to make a difference for who comes, why they come, how intimidated they feel because they're not going to be eliminated. Versus single limb where they are eliminated right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. If you do seeding by elo or pairing by elo, then the weakest get knocked out first. If you do the bracket system, you your second round will most likely be better if you're on the weaker in the weaker half of the players. Yeah, it's double limb. Yeah, yeah. But double sixty players in a tournament would have been nice. Yeah, it would have. So you can make four groups of four. Oh, you mean to have like pre-bracket groups? No, four, and then you go into a uh, round robin. Double elimination. Oh yeah, well, doing double a limb with sixteen players, you can just have a single 
bracket double. You don't need to have pools. Like, you don't need to have all the players grouped off into their own double limb brackets prior. I wouldn't do that unless you had more than 32. On the other side, the format... Uh, what was his name again? There was another 1v1 tournament uh, three weeks ago or two weeks, weeks ago. That was Swiss, yeah. That was Parzival's. It was, it was also kind of funny to see everyone fight everyone. Yeah, well, Swiss doesn't quite work that way. Swiss but, works unfortunately, by... Unfortunately, the, the winner was known before the tournament ended. Yeah, well, the way Swiss works is more that when you're playing... Yeah, you know, that's kind of weird, the way third worked. Because there really weren't enough Swiss rounds. Like The way Swiss works is that you have... Like, you play people with the same win... Well, roughly the same win record. And then if you have like four or five rounds, it's a lot easier to get a good impression of who is on top. Because even if they don't have the best win record, even if they're tied for win record, they'll probably have a different tiebreak score than the others based on their opponents. So they'll have had better opponents to fight, and thus they'll still be the better player. Yeah. But yeah, that's... It's a little bit tricky to make a tournament where you are determining winner, well, winner, second, third, concretely with Swiss. But it's great if you're trying to get, like, say, top two or something like that, or top two or top four as a pre-bracket pools, if you had, like, say, 100 players. Uh, it's, it's good for big, um, what do you call it, uh, league games that span a large period. Yeah, that's what we do for... There's a Skullgirls thing that's weekly. And every week it's a Swiss tournament. It's a five-round Swiss tournament. And then basically it doesn't matter who wins so much as how many points you get by wins. And then whoever has the most points, the eight top scorers over the six weeks, those are then thrown into a single limb... Or no, double limb bracket. And then they fight it out for whoever wins. Yeah. And now we're just waiting for Silent Shadow. I'm not sure why they haven't shown up. I think he's taking on a break. No, no, they just don't know where the room is. Oh, they wanted three minutes to relax. Well, that's acceptable. And they have arrived. All right. Challenger has arrived. Did he? Yeah, they're, they're in the... They're spectators. They haven't... Oh, there he is, yeah. yeah. He's under S. Yep. So this is... Well, this is going to be a challenge for Silent Shadow, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure they're quite tired and kind of stressed after the last game. I mean, they wanted to have some time to relax. They're probably still pretty stressed. I mean, playing clone is tough to do. It's just... High-level players are always Glory in can, uh, can play... Uh a bit on autopilot, you should be fine. I imagine that'll happen, yeah. Silent Shadow... Yeah, if you put as much effort as in that... Uh, Alter uh, Crossing game? Alter Crossing, what was it? Yeah, he uh, has a shot. Yeah, because that was like a couple small mistakes. I mean, they were so close to That Grizzly, if that had the duck support, I think it would have turned around. But that I think was... it was a good good example of how effective you can be with um, low APM and little and just good eco management. Yeah, that's that's the thing is you can if you if you aren't playing factories like say jump bot factories that rely on good APM. Like if you're playing that rely on good APM or you're playing with units that rely on good APM, like even cloaky bot factories is a little bit risky to play that way. If you're playing a lot yeah, of glaives. Yeah, you keep this glaive <laughs> Yeah, that's what I always say is if you don't think you can micro your... If you don't think you can out-micro your opponent playing Cloaky, build warriors. Don't build glaives. Build warriors and rockos. And yeah, maybe build a few glaives here and there. A move. They're very spammable and very scalable. Yeah, the only problem maybe is they're slow. Keywords. But that's fine. You just get radar and make sure... Basically, make up for in mechanical skill... or Make up... The lack of mechanical skill with better reading of the radar, better just guessing what your opponent will do, like better reads than your opponent overall. So you just outthink where you can't out-execute, I suppose. And out-use the information you have. Where you anyway, we have a dart. Yeah, we have dart light have, vehicles. Uh, and that's dart, dart, scorcher. Dart, dart, scorcher builder, and then slashes on top of that. Compared to Convicts, straight out the gate from Silent Shadow, going for Radar, and then what? I have no idea. 
Now the sign of the shadow unfortunately going for a bit more energy than necessary. That is any energy at all, given that there's a lot of reclaim and not a lot of metal that's nearby. Like there's 2,000 energy reclaim easily acquired right inside their base. And the darts coming in here breaking, okay, quite a bit of energy reclaim, but still the darts coming in should be able to, how are they gonna get rid of this metal extractor? Yeah, they've got a pretty good shot at it. And one more shot. Down it goes. Yeah, two darts for a metal extractor, which can be rebuilt instantly. I think it's an even trade. Yeah, clean kill. Better than two darts so dying. Now we have Silent Shadow with a constructor out. So that does Lori. Both two maxes. I think it would be would have been better for Silent Shadow if he had his commander at the front and a constructor in the back. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. Normally, just that's like what you uh, do. Lori has now. Mm. Yeah, because I mean. That constructor's not going to fight. It's not a welder. And even if it was, why would you want it to? I think that's just a... That's a minor careless thing. It's one of those things that oftentimes you don't really think oh about. Oh boy. That's so lucky. Oh yeah, definitely. Right before it was done. But it's one of those things... Where you put your commander versus where you put your constructors is not something that is often thought about at the lower level. Because it tends not to matter. But when you're at the higher level where everything matters... Oh, nice roach shot. When you're at the higher level where everything matters, then it's a much bigger deal. He's self-destructing already? What? Yeah, what? Oh, crap. He had this uh, solar collector still selected when he decided. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling. That sucks, <laughs> but at least, at least there's reclaim. At least energy isn't completely hopeless. They have a lot of reclaim to work with. They're probably just going to rebuild a solar, though. I guess. Yeah, there it goes. There's the so rebuild of the solar, and then Lowry coming in with push. And that's the, that's the thing on this map. That's how it works. The comm just pushes, builds a line, and continues pushing from there. That's the entire center section of the map. That's how it plays out. And you might be able to get nice little... You might be able to get something sneaky along the south or the north, or the northeast or the southwest. But otherwise, yeah, you gotta take that center. You gotta push your commander forward. You gotta get it. Make sure your opponent doesn't. And Loud is doing exactly that, and Silent Shadow instead is trying to be sneaky going to the south. And that doesn't appear to be working. Like, Silent Shadow is... falling pretty far behind, has no units being constructed, has no defenses really being built, has a Roach, which has been spotted, sort of. I mean, it's being missed on a regular basis. Oh, there it goes. One shot in, and been spotted, been hit, been killed. That was 160 metal that is not going to be seen again. A little unfortunate, but that's the thing. I don't know why. Like, dirt bags, not a bad idea. No bandits, though. Bit surprising there. No bandits have been built. I'm not even sure if... I don't think Silent Shadow even knows what Lowry has. Nope, there's no indication that Silent Shadow has seen the inside of Lowry's base. But Silent Shadow is very much in the dark here. But the dirtbags trying to push forward as best they can. And we've seen dirtbags can actually do a number on commanders when they're not... when they're going against unsupported commanders. Mind you, I wouldn't really call this commander unsupported anything, but there's a leveler and a squirt... Uh, sorry, leveler and a slasher. Which will do exactly the opposite of unsupported. In fact, the leveler should be able to get rid of all these dirtbags pretty much off the bat, but... Oh, well, okay, the dirtbags... nice line jump. That really should be used more often. Line jumping is an underuse skill. It's going to be the hype for 2015. Yep, that's the thing. Line jumping everywhere. Actually, should be just that's a default thing. Just We're line going jump. to have big shows with a lot of line jumpers. Well, to be fair, jumpers have actually gone pretty increasingly popular over the last year. Yeah. Ooh, shotgun commander. But to be fair, uh, the lower left Maxis uh, from uh, Shadow uh, keep him. In this game, income-wise, but he's now... Ah, this is not going to work. Just dirtbags are just not no. going to work. I mean, dirtbags with bandit support would work okay, because they tank. But on their own, the leveler's just wrecked them. There's nothing There's nothing to be done. The leveler's going to kill them all. I don't get that. The only good point is that the levelers will then have nowhere to go. Because of all the dirtbag hill spam. But even then, those are... That's bot impathable. Like, nothing gets through these hills. Maybe this is what Silent Shadow is trying to do, is essentially do 
terraforming the walls with dirt bags. They terraform this wall to stop the vehicles getting through with dirt bags. But at this point, no, it's not really succeeding. Shadow's not even trying anymore. He quit. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's no rhyme or reason. I mean, Orphelius's way of doing it was a bit more reasonable. That they, they had units to support on top of the dirt bags, and the dirt bags are going to an undefended commander, undefended location that they knew was undefended. It was a bit cheesy, but it worked. This is just you well, know, a little odd. This is dirt bags for the sake of what am I supposed to do? Dirt bags. Let's just throw dirt bags and hope for the best. Which, while a tempting idea, is unfortunately for Silent Shadow not going to work in practice. <laughs> and Wolverine. The silly thing is, he actually has the income to compete. Yeah, I know. Especially with the North taking the North, taking the Southeast, and have control over the South. Sorry, the Southwest. Not taking the Southeast. They take the Southeast. They'd have won the Can game. Can you imagine now. just all this metal that went to these dirt bags would have been put into roaches? Uh, I mean, uh, rogues. Those uh, rockets, uh... Yeah. Oh, no, no, actually, it looks like Silent Shadow is, in fact, trying to make a wall. That was their plan. <laughs> it's not enough. Not the most effective wall. Yeah, and exactly. And they're called Leveler for a reason. Yeah, that's they... <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> they level the ground. It's, it's so can... an ill-documented part of their moveset. Not usually made advantage... Not usually taken advantage of as a result of terraforming not being used all that often. But when it is... That's what levelers do. I'm a bit surprised that Lowry isn't attacking ground to try to open this up, but maybe they're just figuring that it's blocking Silent Shadow more than it's blocking them. Because they're right, actually, it is. Although, Silent Shadow looks to be trying to complete that wall. Yeah, the dirtbags are filling up a lot of the openings in that wall and will be trying to complete it as best as possible. Well, maybe. They're completing bits and pieces of it, but it looks like they're actually being used once again for our offense. Southwest, working okay, but Wolverine's trying to deal with that. Wolverine from the north trying to deal with this. And Silent Shadow's commander looks to be trying to go for just a general backdoor attack, which Scorchers will be taken care of. That Scorcher dive will be hit death. Not much we know about that. And the Dirtbag's still trying to make that wall. Roach is still being set up, which is not going to work out too well. And that's Silent Shadow getting killed right there. As, ooh, Scorcher Dive passes by and doesn't matter. Actually, well done there, because only one Scorcher died. Another Scorcher stayed alive to get rid of all the metal extractors, as I been mentioning before, should be done, and was. Well done, Lowry. You played that right. And another Roach goes down. I mean, the Wolverine's getting away. The Roach is like, everything's just going down. There's what's to be said. The Dirtbags, yeah, I don't know. I think Silent Shadow's just SDing everything. Yeah, there we go. That's... That's game one. I don't even know if Silent Shadow is going to keep going. I wonder if they're going to forfeit. They don't seem to be really you into it. You could just as well, yeah. It's a little bit anticlimactic, but at the same time, I would not blame them. I really wouldn't. I mean, it, Lowry is a very intimidating player to fight against. And Avalanche is a difficult map to play, I find. It's just, it's one of those maps that really, just despite its size, it favors the better player a lot. Mm, you, I, I just yeah, find you can't easily yeah. cheese. If you don't, if you aren't successful in placing things where they need to be, you are not going to do very well, I find. <laughs> a lot is in the factory choice as well. Yeah, that's true. It's a little bit of randomness going on work. on this map. It's very one-dimensional uh, from the in a fighting in a straight line to each other. In a well, it's three straight lines, but yeah. Well, one straight and two curved. I'm not the biggest fan of Avalanche. I think it might be okay if it was... Uh, not even, if it was south, if it was southwest to northeast, that wouldn't work either. Arr. Not really sure. It feels like it'd be part of a larger map that would work pretty well as a section. Or if you were to take it, if you were to take it and then mirror it, such that it's 
you take that and just mirror it across to make the corners of another map. Mm -hmm. So it's four times as big. That might work okay. Yeah, or you could just mirror it uh, on the right um, side. To I was thinking and more. Start with the two one start locations, the top left versus the top right on a rectangular map. I was actually thinking if with you this mirror one mirrored. I was thinking more if you mirror it so that the low section is the priority one. So you have the left side of the current map, you mirror it off that, and so you have a the low left side, middle. Mirror yeah, so you have a low middle on the left side. Um, but then you get a map with a big hill in the center, and those usually don't work out. That would happen either way. Now, would you have a big flat area? in a half a circle if you mirror on the right side. How do you get a big flat area? I don't understand. If you like mirror... the, the center path, you get a like um, a V. Yeah, but that's still a high a... section as opposed to... No, but it's all this on the same level. You don't get... If you mirror on the left side, you have this one massive hill. Oh, I see. Oh, right. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, because there's that, that little step stair that goes down into the lower section. Right. That's but I guess point. it could work uh, on the left side. It's uh, indeed a... Uh, you move down, mm -hmm. so that's less of a problem. I was thinking more left side, and then from there, mirror on the bottom. So you have this giant low section in the center, step stairs leading to that, and then huh. ringing that, you have a higher section, and then the all the corners, like, you have the highest section, the bluffs that we have now. Yeah... Actually, the these things are quite uh, easily implemented. It shouldn't take long. Yeah, just sort of... It, it crosses my mind. But I have other maps that I want to po polish up and work on, and Avalanche is not priority, and some sort of Avalanche large isn't a priority either. <laughs> like the double icy run, or yeah. triple icy run. Or also, because the thing is, if you do an Avalanche large, you'd also have to adjust the metal. Like You have to reduce the metal spots, so it works out better. So it's not quite that simple. But it is no, still, is as a, from a height map idea, I think it's fairly easy to make it work decently well with just some mirroring and maybe a bit of additional editing. I like maps where there's more room to move around. Yeah, me too. Still, Spring doesn't get out of these small map 1v1 games. BA tries to. Take look here, we have another example of this. Yeah, I don't... I'm surprised. Sounds like I was going for coastal. I honestly, these. I mean, coastal's a bit more sensible. It's different. Although Lowry has a very mean C game. Mm -hmm. So I don't really see that working out too well. But yes, yeah, the second time the Sound of has picked a map that I was gone. Why have you picked that map? That's that's not a map that you think he was gonna make you win. You were dropped by two people. Which I'll admit is 10%, but still, drop it to people. But yeah, I know my app size is 12 by 12. Like for 1v1. Mm -hmm. All my favorite maps are either 12 by 12 or 10 by 10 or 10 by 8 or something like that. Like none. I think that's a good test size indeed. Yeah. No 8 by 8s in that list. Because then, when you have maps that size, you can also do creative things with choke points and generally with terrain manipulation and limitations. Whereas in an 8x8 map, any terrain limitation that you add just cuts out half the map, even if it's a tiny little limitation. It's something I noticed when I was making Acron maps, is they have to be really careful with smaller maps how you set things up, whereas with larger maps you have a ton of flexibility. You have all the flexibility in the world. Uh, it's, it takes more time for the players to figure it out. That too, yeah, but that might helps just, as well. might be just as broken. It just takes more time to figure out. Yeah, but if it takes more than, I don't know, six months to a year or two years, maybe doing a lateral rotation with new maps every time, then that's good. And if they do figure out easy broken stuff, they can patch it. I think it. the game changes, um, 0k changes faster than their... Yeah. Map, ...new maps are being made. So... It really... You should reevaluate uh, every map every time the game changes. Well, okay, that's a little bit tricky because, I mean, the game is being designed around the maps that exist to an extent. It can only be tested on those maps. Yeah, uh, not enough, in my opinion, but. What the heck is Skazi doing? Okay, whatever. Silent Shadow and Lowry both going for Amphib. No surprises there. It is a safe option when dealing with water. 
doesn't have well, the terrain. Plus, uh, of... boats versus amphib play out nowadays. It's it's a little tricky. You think, the thing with boats is that they are like, there's more room to hit underwater, but it's hover versus amphib that's a bit more interesting when you have water involved. When you're dealing with boats versus amphib, it's like, if they're building snakes, those snakes. Yeah, snakes work pretty well, but actually, scallops become terrifying. However, all of that the only thing that really exists for sea, for amph is basically ducks and scallops. Archers can be useful if you're facing a lot of skeeters or typhoons, but if you're facing a lot of snakes, anyway, ducks Silent Shadow put all his resources into ducks. Yeah, going for duck rush. While Loudy, on the other hand, is duck going up. for duck and conch, which is much more safe, much later game strategy. It's it really makes sense. Loudy wants to win as late as possible, I and mean, they know they can. And if you turn Silent the Shadow game back on, according to Hmm? And your kids. Oh, right, sorry. My mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It always happens once. At least we caught it early this time and not eight minutes in, which would be when the game is over at this rate. So, anyway, yeah, Sound Shadow going for Duck Rush. Lowry going for like a couple ducks here and there. Yes, yes, I turned the change back. I turned the game back on. We're good. We're good. Oh, right, because you guys are a minute behind. At least. That's not a minute, I guess. I think. But it's supposed it's to be a, bit less. a minute. That, oh, okay. Well, Hitbox is lying to me then. And Silent Shadow is at least getting some good position right now. Uh, there's an outside chance they'll be able to take this game. Outside chance. Like, if they move their ducks in, take out the commander directly. And don't lose any ducks. They micro them properly. If they waste uh, their shots on that LT, the commander they can would. kill them. Yeah, which they will. Yeah, then they're reloaded. That's, that's These situations, it. you want to put them on hold fire and snipe the commander. <laughs> At least I think that was what he was trying. Yeah. Otherwise, that it was wasted. Too, um, I think. Or very close to. So it. let's do some math. Math. It's at twelve fifty hit points. No, wait a second. Two two thousand hit points. Yeah. Two thousand hit points. Two thirty per shot. That would have been from a single volley. All in together, it would have been. Eight. So you need eight. Eight hits. Yeah, that's right. Because right? yeah. together, that would allow it to be sixteen times. Three. Yeah, it would be no eighteen forty. No, that wouldn't be enough. You need nine. Nine gets you. Oh wait, is that a torpedo? Which? It has a torpedo and a torpedo. Both count for. To no, each of them is a different one. I mean, they're the same damage, but they don't fire at the same time. It's both... The One of them is underwater, and one of them is above water. Oh, the range is different, yeah. Damage is the same. So In it's 230. Cases, it's 230. Volley. Yeah. yeah. And that's ba that's 9 to kill the commander. So that wouldn't have been enough to kill. They only had 6, I think. Not in one shot, anyway. Two, yes, not one. Oh, apparently 40 seconds... Delay for SCSI. Okay, that's good to know. I, I told Hitbox to do it for a minute. I'm not doing it internally with OBS. I'm doing it just with Hitbox's delay setting, so I'm not sure how they have it set up. Apparently, it's not a guaranteed minimum. Good to know. I might, I might have set it to two minutes in the future then. Oh, can you. Does OBS have a uh, delay uh, function? OBS has a delay option, but I find it annoying because when you're stopping the stream, it has to wait until that delay has passed before the stream can restart. Don't you just flush the buffer and. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. It'll, it just okay. crashes if you try to do that. Whereas Hitbox, if I have it go through that, then it handles it more intelligently because all it does is it takes it and then buffers it for a little while and then displays it later on, but I don't have to worry about when I stop the OBS stream or if I stop and restart. Okay. Hitbox handles it no problem. Anyway, Laurie has more income. Yeah, but at this point, it sounds like local has advantage. A, uh, Pretty nice local advantage, too, actually. Sonar. Now, yeah, the thing with torpedo ducks underwater is that they can actually dodge torpedoes underwater. Unlike above water, where they will get hit, inevitably. They can theoretically dodge torpedoes, but Silent Shadow is not taking advantage of this fact. Well, Silent Shadow is getting ahead. Yeah, they're getting a lot of ducks. They're really focusing on this. Oh, whoops, I should probably be focusing entirely on Silent Shadow's ducks. But I still have a dozen of them. I should have 14 of them. Funny, Lori has made uh, two uh, urchins. Hmm. Silent Shadow hasn't. He only made ducks. That's why he can be in the center of the map. And uh, that's why Lori can't. 
That's true. They're, they only, they're the only C maxes at this point, with most of the C maxes. You can see all the metal that Silent Shadow is ahead in army. That's what uh, Lori has in defense. <laughs> and also in energy economy. Lowry's building a lot of wind generators. Yeah, yeah, I made a couple Which wins. makes yeah. little sense in this map. They're 0.1 minimum. This is the worst map for wind generators, but okay. Not to mention the ducks get in there. They're all dead. Ducks are not that good at shooting windmills. That, that's true. That, that's the thing. But it looks like Silent Shadow might just be able to completely overrun. However, this is a lot of donations. These are a lot of generous donations no, from Silent no, 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 Shadow no, to the Lowry Reclaim Foundation. It's way too careless. Not didn't put any thought into this. Well, the urchin is Sigh. one of the urchins <laughs> is down. Nope, still killing, even though they're out of water. And a more urchin kill. They can't even kill it. I think that duck's going to kill itself in the process. No, it's not. Not quite what close enough. What was he thinking? Well, it doesn't matter because the scallop got rid of that from the underwater, and then from there it's going to be... What is it going to be? It's going to be more ducks. More ducks, and finally more ducks. And some conches. But mostly more ducks. And more metal extractors. To build more ducks. Well... Send in the reclaimers. Pretty much. Also, uh, Silent Shadow didn't use that opportunity to move forward. With that attack, usually you want to if if you want even if you want to do such an attack, you want to move your constructors forward so yeah, you can you claim the behind area it. behind the attack, which didn't happen. No. No, all that all those constructions happened after the attack, not during. That's a big multitasking task too. Like expanding while attacking is a basic well not basic it's an advanced RTS skill, but that's one of the fundamental advanced RTS skills in a competitive environment is when your opponent is distracted by your attack, you expand behind your attack. But it looks like ducks coming in, more ducks coming in. And yeah, I realized two minutes would Whoa. be really hard. I really wish it was an engine based thing, like spring itself would have a delay to what I see and what everyone sees. So I could have the chat on instantaneous rather than on a minute delay. But sadly, that is not available with engine 98.0.1-174, whatever the current version is, I think. Anyway, Silent Shadow, how many ducks? Okay, let's just see. Ducks for Silent Shadow right now are a dozen. And then for Lowry is, well, Lowry's actually going to ships as well. Lowry has about a dozen too. But Lowry is making a shipyard. This is a bit risky. Now here you can see how uh, it's done. You have three scallops moving forward, and the yeah. constructors make the constructor makes a uh, urchin behind it, so the, ur the scallops can retreat now into the urchin, which they do quite well as well. Although two of them do die in the process. They still lost because he went into range Four of ducks. that uh, urchin. Yeah, that's a lot that's of trickery and gimmicky play going on here. Well, this is a very tiny sea map. There is going to be trickery and gimmicky play here. Still, we haven't really changed the viewer count, so that's great. Oh yeah, right. This is this is 91. It will always be 91 forever. Well, actually, I don't know. 98 is doing pretty. 9801. Anything past like 1 102, really? That was actually doing pretty. Like 9801-102. Seem to have some nice performance boosts. So hopefully, as long as the ATI issues are fixed, maybe it'll actually be used. That'd be nice. Hey, oh, nice Silent Shadow getting really use, good use of defender's advantage here. Taking on a lot of Lowry's forces. Really pushing this back, although admittedly Lowry has a lot of defenses to retreat to, but not to the north. To the He's south, yes, to the north, no. units count. Yeah. Those units only being ducks, though. Um, he does also, have a gunship. Yeah. Lance, he has made it, he's already finished it. He's not making anything out of it yet. Both players have, actually. But so does uh, Lowry. And Lowry is making a it's brawler out of raises. it. <laughs> Lowry is just porking that island up. <laughs> brawler and that. brawler. Both sides pretty much at the same time. And Silent Shadow is defending up the North Island. 
No, Mexes, just Lotuses first. A little bit surprising given the sheer number of ducks here. It's like a dozen ducks and yet the Lotus. Because that's going to do something. <laughs> that the ducks wouldn't already. And more ducks! Almost three dozen ducks? Or no, two dozen ducks. Yeah, 34 ducks. No, almost three dozen, yeah. Oh, some of those are lorries, but still. That's a lot of ducks. Like, it's just a big flock of ducks over here. And brawler done for both sides. Except that Lowry... Wait, no, where's Lowry's brawler? Yeah, Lowry's brawler's done. Both players have a brawler. He wants to build up two. Yeah, Lowry's only building the one. Lowry's building the one, Silent Shadow's building four. Please, Silent Five, Shadow, actually. do not try to charge. Oh, no, no, you don't want to do this. Well, that's Here we death. Go. Nice to have known. Although, on the other hand, the ducks do break it. There's nothing else. I mean, they uh, will manage to get through uh, it. At huge cost. They get one volley, and then they are just there to take hits. Yes, that was definitely that's the really Normandy in miniature. But oh, it come on. worked. Yes. Ooh, it killed the HLT. He traded yeah. his entire army for this. Yeah, it is worth noting that was that was the entire army that Silent Shadow had. But now the South is liberated from the terrible tyranny of turrets. Not that it matters. Wow, but wait, wait, you Shadow's see this? Yes, uh, four uh, brawlers, brawlers now. now. Yeah, there are three brawlers, and that could save them. Four. He has four. One in production, yeah. Oh, there we go. Now it's it, four. It just finished. Oh wait, yeah. So he, I think he can make something happen here. But he should Where put on his uh, M5 factory again. Oh no, one of those is Lowry's. Yeah, there's four for Silent Shadow, one for Lowry. And Silent Shadow's M5 factory not being used for construction right now. Still, Lowry hasn't seen it. He's not making any anti-air as of yet. He is morphing to uh, Moho uh, Geo. Ooh, that's a tasty target. That could very easily be used as, well, smash of everything, really. Every second. I think th these brawlers might actually uh, work now. He's made anti-air. Uh, Silent Shadow has seen it. Ah. Uh, yeah, there are the anglers. It's definitely what they want to have. Although the urchins are going to go down too quickly. But Oh yeah, I don't know if it's going to work. The anglers are kind of out of position. They might be able to get a few convenient shots in. I don't know yes, if they're going to get killed though. I, but with yeah. anti-air and brawlers together, hmm. Yeah. Stupid question, but can brawlers hit stuff underwater? Well, it doesn't matter because they're floating. I don't think they can hit stuff underwater, though. No, they can't. Five brawlers coming in here, doing nothing to the ducks. Could take out the Crusader, though. Crusader's going to try its best to hit, but not going to actually manage to do so because its weapon is way too darn inaccurate. And some of the anglers actually get in, and it looks like that brawler is going to die as a result of the combination of the angler and the brawlers. Well, but yeah, this brawlers. If are, he focuses wow. now, he focuses the shredder. He might have a chance actually, and he is. <laughs> yeah, making sure that doesn't get out. Wow. Making sure that does not get built. Get rid of the caretaker. Good choice there. Good call on that caretaker. That's exactly what you want to get rid of. Going to take. Still going to take about a minute. Actually, it's hard to say. It's switching around a lot, but might knock him out of the water with this. If it does, that's a lot of damage the brawlers can deal with the ducks. The ducks could... I don't know. The ducks are very powerful anti-air, though. That is one dangerous thing about it. And not enough anglers are really up to deal with this. Wow. And Look all the conscious go down. They all die. Yeah, all it's the conscious are going down. Rust. On top of the anglers. How many anglers left? One angler is there for Lowry. It's... That's pretty hard. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Sorry, two anglers. There's one in the water and one but, in the ground. Uh, the, the fight in the water is not going that well. No, because it looks like... Well, actually, not really. Silent Shadow is losing ducks one at a time. Not dealing any oh, damage. Oh, yes, he's focusing the Mo now. This is going to give him a nice bang. Yeah, so right now, Lowry, while losing factory after factory, does still have a situation where they can push through and destroy Silent Shadow's entire base. <laughs> oh, wow. never mind. I forgot Moho Geo's exploded wow. that big. Well, okay, let's just reset the game. <laughs> let's watch that again. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have that button here yet. Uh, yeah. Still. So both. <laughs> wow, that was quite the base. So we've yeah. got uh, Silent Shadow with all the build power and income he needs. I don't think we've Hammer got Lori with. Uh, he's still 
Gazi pointing out, if the Brawlers didn't die to the Moho, that would be totally game. I agree, but I don't even know if Silent Shadow knew how big that Moho exploded to, or that it was a Moho in the first place. I didn't know how big it exploded to, and I was trying to figure out the explosion radius. Actually, I don't know how big the explosion radius are. We should are. totally do this again with five Brawlers. <laughs> well, there are more Brawlers being constructed, so it could happen. Five of yes, them, too. Yes, I just uh, started uh, again. Another five. Another five. Wow, Silent Shadows actually managed to turn that around thanks to destroying the Moho. I was right, that is a tasty target indeed. Was, uh, Lori was completely unaware. He only focused on amphibious. Or well, had other nothing than, to do with other her. Other than the Moho Geo, that wasn't a bad idea. I mean, get through no, all the ducks stupid. and break no, you, through. You really shouldn't do this on this map. It's way too risky because no, of I this. Suppose. But I was thinking, if, he, if Louder could get a base trade in there and could have rebuilt in the waters they're doing now, but to get a base trade and destroy Silent Shadows' base, because Silent Shadow has no other assets. I think uh, Silent Shadow can switch to Scallops. If they do, they'll win. They'll be able to take out the oh, ships, no problem. Not a duck the sea. There's still no anti air. No well, he yeah, has Angler, that's about it. But yeah, the Scallops will be able to take it, care it, of the ships. Or two Anglers, yeah. Every constructor he loses is uh, very expensive. Indeed, there's only that one Amphid plant and this building ducks right now. It can't build conscious too much. Although, unfortunately, the Ducks getting on ground. Bad choice. The Crusaders get free shots in. Although, merely the Crusaders, I think, get some Death Charge as well. So, it's... No, Death Charge yeah, is less damage. Do. The Death Charge is less damage. is probably more... What's the DPS? Although, I haven't... Less DPS, haven't, too. Yeah. 150 I haven't DPS. I had a look at, a, uh, at uh, these Crusaders for a long time. Well, yeah, you can see space click. 600 damage per shot on ground. 180 damage per shot in C. And the fire rate's about the same. One second difference, three second to four second. Okay, but, three more brawlers coming. Yep, that's exactly it. Let's see. Does I think Lori Lori has uh, resurrection uh, module on level two? Let me have a look at this. I can check. If they do get to level two in the first place, though, they have a lot of room to reclaim. They're going to get another air fact. They're going to an air factory. Actually, they're going for that yeah, after they build some uh, stuff. Yeah, it's and uh, less rest device. Okay. If the Brawlers really don't get there the game, first, though. Uh, and there's no Shredder to... either. There's only Crusaders. Not much else is going to be there. And the Ant Plant is not... Oh, they're right. The Ant Plant is not fully submerged. It is a valid target for the Brawlers. Two Anglers. We'll see how that works out, though. If, we get, if they can get rid of the Urchins, then the Ducks can just take care of the rest he of it. He has a race piece now, so it will be a lot harder from here on. It will. If you can get the Nano as well. Well, he, he should really try to micro and keep his uh, keep the brawlers alive. alive. Yeah, although only one of the brawlers is a razor target at the moment. This one just needs to move back, and it's doing exactly that. Oh, but one of them does go down to the angler. Two of them goes down to the anglers. He Ouch. retreats to the, the, the auto retreat zone. With more, the... this brawler should not be moving forward. That's that's a bit of a problem. This brawler here, this brawler's stopping as it should. Getting out of the way as it should. Because that would have been a very unwise move if that brawler had moved forward and not fallen back, regrouped, and repaired. I mean, losing those two brawlers is already a pretty big loss. The Ampin plant wasn't destroyed. The caretaker wasn't destroyed. A but he's wasting Crusader metal was. like crazy now. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of. Oh, wow, all the excess there. Caretakers are being built up. But not oh, not enough. There are, there are more units than ducks in the amphibious factory. Yeah, you know, like everything else. Hey, grizzlies or yeah, scallops. Yeah, let's do a grizzly. That would be epic now. Why not? It's going to take 50 seconds. It's not that long. Or two grizzlies. Or a gin. You never see those. Not that I could see it being useful in this particular game, but still. You do never see them. Uh, spamming these ducks is just not working out. <laughs> But on, to be fair, uh, that charge still staying ahead. on that island five minutes ago with the ducks, I didn't thought it would work that well. Yeah, I mean, I it was still lost the entire army, but at the same time, Lau didn't have as much of an army that they could get rid of the brawlers with, so it kind of no, worked. No, he's, he's building a crow instead ah, of... Ah, this is not going to work. Well, I can't say I blame him. You can prepare for crow pretty well. But at least he has something to put his metal into. Although at that point they aren't reclaiming as much, they don't have the fifty met plus or them plus but you fifty can metal. Played a re re retreat repair uh, game forever with a crown. That's true. 
Assuming Silent Shadow is willing to play that game, though I think Silent Shadow knows how to play. They do have the retreats on the setup. They do have their, they do have chicken mode on. Oh, well, they, I thought they had chicken mode. Oh, no, they don't. But he just keeps feeding uh, Laurie with the Rex of his uh, ducks. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing that, if, that was, the, well, the analysis casted in Wednesday. That was the biggest mistake. It was actually one versus clone. But still, that was a big mistake that was made by the person playing this headhunter was don't lose your units, especially against clone, but in general, don't lose your units, even the minor ones. Yeah, I don't know about this game. This is this is one. This is one heck of a game. I did not expect this. It's very strange. Yeah, it's game Quite two, though. So Silent Shadow loses this. It is over. We are in the not finals. Not really working out with the brawlers. <laughs> but they are fighting hard. If they manage to pull this off, they're on game three. Lowry gets towards the map. Like I said, Silent Shadow is really relying on the the two mouse click tricks. Yeah. But they've been working decently well so far. Yeah, it's surprising how far he got with it. Yeah, well, that's part of the point of the design of Zero K is to make sure that is a possible thing. Unfortunately, they aren't the smartest choice when dealing with these urchins. Because two click tricks or not, that's still a type counter. You're still kind of dead. Although, if they get rid of the anglers, that's a lot of room. I still am surprised there's no scallops. Scallops would be so perfect in this situation. For many reasons. Not the least of which is they are type counter to ducks on land. And a type counter to all these structures when underwater. Especially the urchins. I don't know. 50 seconds left on the crow. But yeah. then you have a crow against how many? Five. Five anglers and two razor kiss. Well... Oh, I think they changed the art for the razor. It was closed. Slightly prettier. Maybe not though. I never really looked at it too closely when it was closed. Anyhow. Another shipyard being built up. The commander has not morphed, and we have the air factory up as well with a caretaker. Though Lowry only has plus 25. They aren't in the best situation, but they're in a pretty good one. And the crow is now done! So let's up. see, what can we do with a crow? in its glory. As it moves forward to try to... Ah! As it moves forward and pushes my camera into the cliff. <laughs> okay, there we go. He's making 100 uh, Swift Vamps, whatever they're called. Uh, Swift. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there it goes. I mean, there's a lot of anglers. They're going to do what they can. Now what is he going to bombard? Probably the shipyard. I, I can't see any better options offhand. For his own army. Well, yeah, there's that. I wouldn't call that a good option, but it's definitely one. And it is it. the shipyard, I call it. That shipyard goes down very quickly, as expected. There's a crow already at only a th only two thirds of his normal health. I don't know if I can get rid of this. That's good. The anglers are still around, the rays are still around, it's still only at half health, it needs to get back. Yeah, it's true. Like get back, kill the urchin along the way, and it's doing exactly that. And the bombs have reloaded. Oh, rinse repeat, huh? Although there are Swifts coming in here, and that's causing some problems. I think he could uh, do with a couple of those, uh, what are they called? Tridents. Just to fend off the those annoying Swifts. <laughs> yeah, Rapiers are instead what Silent Shadow goes for. I can kind of see the rationale, but I would go with Tridents myself. Definitely a better option. Oh, come on, stop with the ducks already. <laughs> Get yeah. some gunups. I don't know, that's... It would work if more for the ducks on Lowry's side. You know, if it weren't for the fact that... Get those constructors. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for the fact that Lowry has units that actually stop you, you'd be fine. But at that point, you might as well just pull to a logical conclusion. If it weren't for the fact that Lowry is playing, you'd win. But Lowry is playing, so you have to be careful. Still, because if you're... Units staying alive decently long. Actually, it looks like Silent Shadow is managing to win, if by attrition alone, but still managing to get through. 
in one way or another. No, never mind. What there am I is saying? so much reclaim. So much of it. All of it Lowry's. Actually, how much of it is there? We Let's should see, find out the exact number. About 5k. Yeah, 2k just in the water alone, and then you include land. That's another well, another 2k-ish on land. Like on land alone, it's about 1.5. I don't think Silent Shadow. He's not even trying anymore. No, it's just throw units. This is, this is how you play. Uh, this is how you play BA, isn't it? Low level. Uh, Team games. Multiplayer games. Yeah. I don't know if it's how you play BA, but it's definitely how you play the low level multi the team games. That's that's the thing. Uh, BA is, isn't like this. I'm well, kidding. sometimes, but. Same not as kind of like this, actually. Like this. Not as kind of like this, but that's part of the intentional design. It's designed around essentially just being based around large unit army movement positioning stuff. It's not based around micromanagement. It's not based around special abilities in any way whatsoever. It's just. You have your units, you move them where they need to be, and they kill stuff. How you A-move them is the important thing, not that you're A-moving them. Well, you can get on land, actually. I built LTs. Yeah, okay, let's send the, the crow in again. This would be the I time. I forgot about his biggest <laughs> investment. Apparently so. Move over here. Seriously. The ducks are doing okay, but not as well as they could be. Especially not with Le Lowry's commander here. They just get rid of the caretaker. They got rid of the caretaker! Ooh. Yay for them! At least that was somewhat more useful. Despite the fact that the Amphib plant is getting a lot... Like, that's getting 22.5 from the constructors alone. And the crow has not been forgotten! Not completely, at least. So let's say he moves that crow on land. Out. Then the anglers cannot... Uh do the float shoot thing anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks like what they're trying to do is go around the top, take out the factory, take out the moho, and then but, uh, take those, out everything else. Uh, rapiers are... Uh, should come second. <laughs> now they're just cannon fodder. Well, at any rate, they're at least doing something. I mean, even if they're cannon fodder, it's in place of the crow, which is the valuable... But you want to have hits on the crow. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, so... And here comes the drop of bombs! Destroying the Razor, destroying the Air Factory, destroying the Crane! Because, yeah. why not? Now the crowd needs to move. Or, you know, get rid of the lo Lotus directly. No, it's going for the mo it's going for the Geo, and that Geo is going to blow up less dramatically than the last time. Only the regular, not a Moho. Well, now he's into range of the two uh, Razor Kisses. No, uh, yeah, that, that's got to get out of there. That that crow is dead. Going for another bomb, trying to get rid of the other razor. Which, actually, get rid of the... Nope. Get rid of nothing. The commander's going to die, though. Lowry loses their commander. The economy is still a big deal, but that crow... That crow... Getting rid of, oh, actually, this is... You know what? This might still turn it around, but if that crow dies, I think Silent Shadow... No, you you know, they've the got reason. a lot of ducks. They've built a lot of ducks behind this. This is... Even this crow dying... Still puts Silent Shadow in an advantageous position, which it will right now. Well, right now. Now, there we go. Hey, it is never, dead. You're not going to guess what's going after them. Did he build another one? No. Scallops? He's wasting no, metal scallops. like crazy. <clears throat> it, wait, are they actually? This no, hurts no. my zero K heart. I know. Oh, and Silent Shadow's ducks do not do the trick. No, they fire on the Razor Kiss. Of course they did. Because, I mean, that wasn't a terrible assault except for the dying part. Yeah. The part where the crow it's died great. at the end. That, that was the problem. Seriously, World War One is more fluid than this. What is more fluid? World War One. Oh, World War One, yeah. But still, he's making something happen, slowly. Slowly but surely. Actually, going around on a nice flank, this is going to make it hard for the Urchins <laughs> to get through, and then from there, <laughs> probably oh, if you get the Amphib Factory. I mean, if, if Sh Silent Shadow, one way or another, kills that Amphib Factory, well, I don't know what Louder really he has. He has uh, seven conches left. Ah, louder throws in the towel! 
That's game. Silent Shadow managed uh, to grind it out over the course of half an hour. Almost exactly. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh 30 boy. 30-minute mark was the surrender point. But yeah. My voice hurts. I'm going to get a glass of water or, or five. Yeah, it's time for a uh, cost break. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for when my voice is less sore.